Oh, yo, nah, what the? F What's good? It's your boy Sheen. Swizzy. And we are jumping into another movie recommended by the one and only. I don't even. I don't need to see her name anymore. But I'm gonna say it anyway. Shout out to Vi for recommending The Shining. Big movie, a classic. Heard so many good things about it, but still, honestly, don't know what to expect. So, can't wait to jump into this one. Can't wait to get to the end so we can give our critical review of the film knowing that so much uh so many of you guys love this film make sure you guys head over to the patreon check the patreon out tons of content over there if you want to jump weeks ahead in content well i'm gonna say months months ahead in content get some exclusives that aren't coming over to youtube and just enjoy your time click that link you head over there and you sub up we'll also drop a link to our merch shop so if you want to grab some merch head over to dknd.shop that would be down below also and then we will drop our link to our discord so you guys can jump in there and chat it up about anything that we watched so far without further ado let's jump to the shiny let's get it can't wait to see what all the hype is about if this is actually scary see this is jump what is it jump scare scary or if it's just a sure. horror fan hi i've got an appointment with mr allman my name is jack torrance you got that drip when you walk mr allman yeah i'm jack torrance oh very nice to meet you nice to meet you mr allman show these motherfuckers a notebook other people always crying if you've been around you know do you really want to go and live in that hotel for the winter? Sure I do. It'll be lots of fun. I don't that peanut butter jelly. What a bro. The way he chewing. He got the milk on the side, too. But I was going to say, it's so crazy how back in the day, people would just leave the cigarettes around kids like that. What do that now? But, like, that was normal to see. Now, if somebody see that, they'd be like, yeah, what's wrong with their parents? Now, come on, Tony. Don't be silly. That's his wife and son. Yeah. Jack is uh, going to take care of the overlook for us this winter. What line of work are you in now? I'm a writer. Um, teaching's been more or less a way of making ends meet. Well, ugly. I'm gonna say his uh, smile always looked mad creepy. Our season here runs from uh, May 15th to October 30th. Then we close down completely until the following May. How about your wife and son? How do you think they'll take to it? They'll love it. He's so funny. They'll love it. I don't want to sound melodramatic, but it's something that's been known to give a few people second thoughts about the job. Something they ain't telling. I don't suppose they uh, told you anything in Denver about the tragedy we had up here during the winter of 1970. Charles Grady is the winter caretaker. He came up here with his wife and two little girls. He must have killed somebody or something. Oh, no, man. He killed his family with an axe. As far as my wife is concerned, uh, I'm sure she'll be absolutely fascinated when I tell her about it. That would be she's he doing anything to keep that joint. He don't give a fuck what's going on. So is he gonna bring his wife in some winning? He's gonna phone Wendy up in a few minutes to tell her. Young boy scam. Nah. I was about to say the kid Tony looked like he was, I'm not gonna say he was weird, but he was kinda like staring off into the distance. Sounds like you got the job? Right. It's a beautiful place. You and Danny are gonna love it. <laughs> Tony, why don't you want to go to the hotel? I don't know. Why don't you tell me? Oh, that's the two little girls. When you were brushing your teeth, do you remember if you smelled anything funny or saw any bright flashing lights or anything at all strange? No. You got the fronts. Now, Danny. Can you remember what you were doing just before you started brushing your teeth? Talking to Tony. Tony's his imaginary friend. If you were to open your mouth now, could I see Tony? No. Does Tony ever tell you to do things? I don't want to talk about Tony anymore. You got them fronts too. See her drip? Plain drip. She tall as shit for real. I'm quite sure there's nothing physically wrong with Danny. What was the matter with him? auto-hypnosis, a kind of self-induced trance. If it reoccurs, we can always think about having some tests done. You're not even paying attention. I guess Danny started talking to Tony about the time we put him in nursery school. 
What sort of injury did he have? Uh, he dislocated his shoulder. Danny had scattered some of his school papers all over the room, and my husband grabbed his arm, you know, to pull him away from him. Damn, you know how hard you had to pull to dislocate somebody's shoulder? Wendy, I'm never going to touch another drop. And if I do, you can leave me. And he didn't. He hasn't had any alcohol in the five months. You know how fast and hard you had to pull to dislocate my arm, bro? Even though that's a kid. Even though it's a kid and you gotta use that much strength, but bro, you still gotta be pulling that hard. Wasn't it around here that the Donner Party got snowbound? What was the Donner Party? They were a party of settlers in covered wagon times. They had to resort to cannibalism in order to stay alive. What the hell? Don't worry, Mom. I know all about cannibalism. I saw it on TV. See? It's okay. You saw it on the television. Yeah, I'm more different. Yeah. Damn. So I joined on the EV, yeah. I see what people would be so reluctant to have their kids watching TV when it first came out. It's like, bro, little, little, little boy learn about cannibalism on TV. No more TV for you. Is your family having a look around? No, my son's discovered the games room. Oh. In view of all the ground we have to cover today, I suggest we go have a quick look at your apartment and then get started straight away. I like how they do the little uh, little time skip, you know, with the little effects on the video. We had uh, four presidents who stayed here. Lots of movie stars. All the best people. I'm going to happen with them two girls. I can see a young boy, too. I'm going to happen with them two girls. I can see a young boy, too. My young boy at the wall. You got that drip. You got that walk on him. Yo. Already, a fucking poster in the back. A devil horn. What the fuck y'all laughing at? <laughs> nah, he's scared. I was about to say that shit scared the hell out of him. But I guess that little vision before he passed out was what he seen, and now he's like making a connection that those two girls were were the girls he seen. Place is very nicely self-contained, easy to keep. You have the rest of the hotel to move around in. This is our famous hedge maze. It's quite an attraction around here. By watching my young boy, though. Where the fuck did they, that family kill itself? Dick, if you're ready to do it now, I think it'd be a good idea if you could show Mrs. Torrance the kitchen while I continue on with Jack. Why he show her the kitchen? Say shit. God, this is the kitchen, huh? Yeah, this is it. She amazed by everything. No cat. Yeah, this whole place is such an enormous maze. You don't have to worry about food because you folks have eat up here a whole year and never had the same menu twice. That's crazy. Now this is where something gonna happen with that freezer. You like lamb, Doc? No. Well, what's your favorite food then? French fries and ketchup. I knew it. I knew he was gonna say chicken nuggets, French fries, or something. Oh, kids, that's all they eat. And chicken fries. nuggets and fries and ketchup. Uh, and tater tot. <laughs> you called Danny Doc twice just now. I did? Yeah. We call him Doc sometimes, you know, like in the Bugs Bunny cartoons. But how did you know that? Well, I guess I probably heard you call him that. Nah, what the fuck? Nah. What's up, Doc? <laughs> now, this is the story. That nigga a ghost? Nah, that's weird as fuck. How he know that? Yeah, like what? We Dean and Green movie. You got a dozen jugs of black. In there again? No way. How'd you like some ice cream, Doc? You're not no ghost. He shook their hands. Are you opening and closing? Like well, wow. if you want to be happy, you folks don't mind if I give Danny some ice cream. I'll be waiting for you. Not at all. No, we don't mind. Good. Sound good to you, Doc? Yeah. Okay, you behave yourself. What the fuck? I'm not leaving my young boy. Know why we just met? I don't feel I definitely wouldn't. Like, bro, we just now met boy. And he a little. Bro, I'm gonna leave my he a little nobody. nobody. He just now said my son's nickname without us knowing. Like, without us telling him. Keep my eye on you, G. Do you know how I knew your name was Doc? He's scared. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? My grandmother and I could hold conversations entirely without ever opening our mouths. We called it shiny. For a long time, I thought it was just the two of us that had the shine to us. Yeah, because he knew he was going to ask him for ice cream. And that he was going to call. Why don't you want to talk about it? I'm not supposed to. Who said you ain't supposed to? Tony, Nick. Tony. 
Who's Tony? Tony is a little boy that loves my mom. Tony ever told you anything about this place? Press his thinking face. Is there something bad here? Sometimes I can see things that happened a long time ago. I think a lot of things happened right here. No cat from 1907. And they had to fight off the Indians to on the burial ground and all that. Well, yeah. You know the room number. Three seven. There's a room two three seven, ain't ya? No, ain't. Let's go up there right now, then. Ain't nothing in room two three seven, but you ain't got no business going in there anyway. That's where all our stuff happened. A month later. He said they were there for six months. Place is too big for just three people to be in. Chucky? Literally. I'm about whipping that joint, yeah, bro. See, bust the left. <laughs> oh, I knew he was going to bust the left. He's blind. Trust me. the left. Bit. Mm. Boy, moving. He's going to turn that corner and them girls going to be there, man. I'm going to catch a current the way how, how fast he moving on that bike. They really don't keep track of my young boy, though. They do. They know where he at. They in the, in the hotel, G. Ain't nobody he cannot else. be in the hotel real There's quick. nobody else in here except for us. I made him just the way you like him, sunny side up. Oh, nice. He's ugly. How about taking me for a walk after you finish your breakfast? Well, I suppose I ought to try to do some writing first. Any ideas yet? Lots of ideas. No good ones. Take me on the wall. Stop playing. When we first came up here, I thought it was kind of scary. <laughs> when I came up here for my interview, it was as though I'd been here before. Almost as though I knew what was going to be around every corner. Playing around, that shit about to be around every corner. I shot up about the right, and I'm about the tight rider. See, he, they showing that he you got to start doing stuff to keep yourself occupied now. Cabin fever. He might catch that, John. And they just chilling. Look out. I'm in close. He not even writing his paper. They went in the maze. And he said, if you mean, if you go in there, it's gonna be like an hour for you to find your way out. Nah, she bugged out. She probably didn't even notice that was a maze. Yeah, honey, walked past the tour and he said that. They got an hour to spare. They ain't doing nothing. They bust the left hair. They're cooked. So. Nah, she's absolutely fried for doing this. You might have to climb on top of that motherfucker to see how to get out. Somebody could be living in that bed. No cap. That scared me. What going on? Tuesday. They literally in the middle of nowhere. If something happened, it's gonna take two hours for uh, somebody to get out there. He fit. He definitely about to see him now. I don't know where he at in the hotel. He said room three twenty seven or two thirty seven. Oh boy, moving. I thought that was somebody right there. The tree. He really whipping that John though. In the 200s. Get your little ass off level two, bruh. No! Is that door open? <laughs> Don't listen. That boy, dude, is just like Chucky, though. With the overalls. Slot. Slot. Oh! Right, that shit as fast as you ever could, young boy. Yeah, pedal to the metal. So he try to start this shit up. Yeah, pedal to the uh, metal. Uh, 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 oh, is that right? That's right. <laughs> Yo, them little girls popping up keep scaring and shit. They so, scaring me. I already know they scaring him. So is he the only, like, he can only see him? Or have they only shown themselves to him so far? Man, I'm not paying attention. The old guy talked about the shining and that only certain people can see certain exactly. stuff. Exactly. Yes, just I know that. Old question. Get a lot written today? Yes. Weather forecast said it's going to snow tonight. Okay. 
I'll come back later on with a couple of sandwiches for you, and maybe you'll let me read something then. Whenever you come in here and interrupt me, you're breaking my concentration. And it will then take me time to get back to where I was. Yo, so talking to Wendy like that, bro. What a oh, bro. God. What's wrong with you? Whenever I'm in here, you hear me typing. Whether you don't hear me typing, what the fuck you hear me doing in here, when I'm in here, that means that I am working. That means don't come in. You start right now and get the fuck out of here. Yo, what's up with him? She ain't been nothing but supportive over you, bro. Or, yo, when he smack, yo. Nah, that's a good woman. She really supporting that, that man. Nah. You know what? Crash out. The next time you make your sandwiches, wipe that shit with your ass. The inside of that. <laughs> yo, why my sandwich is so smushed, G? Wipe my ass with your bread, G. What's wrong with this guy? Hey, nah, nigga, you ain't getting no eats. Hey. <laughs> if you enter or not. Nah, it's really snowing though. Yo. Yeah, he getting that cabin fever and shit. Or something like possessing nah, him. Nah, he getting something. that demon fever. Nah, he looks scary though. Like, it's like a part demon? This is eyebrows. I think he actually did play the first Joker. Not the first one. She's trying to call him. Yeah, no phone call. I thought she was trying to call down to him. In that room. She be having that drip on. No cap. We was trying to clown her drip earlier. Nah. She better not do it. He gonna tweet. Are the lines down by any chance? Over. Any chance of them being repaired soon? Over. Well, I wouldn't like to say. Most winters, they stay that way until spring. Over. What? I think it might be a good idea if you leave your radio on all the time now. Okay, we'll do that. It was real nice talking to you. Everybody said leave it on at all times, man. He might start actually calling down just to talk to him because the boy not the boy Jack acting like a creep. I might throw him over the edge even more. This might as well be called the fucking Danny Hotel. My man be all Whip around. I knew it. You see how hard he it's, breathing? It's a two v one. That's not my name. I'm cool. What's that, you, Danny? Come and play with us, Daddy. Oh! And ever. And ever. He had to open this shit and be right in front of him. Uh, he ain't even scream now. What screaming gonna do? Bro, I'm just saying in general though, like a little kid would have been screaming, crying. I'm scared. It's only the demon. Remember what Mr. Halloran said? It's just like pictures in a book, Danny. It isn't real. I don't know. It seemed like Tony helping him a little bit though. Cause he inside of Danny. Danny go, he go. Can I go to my room and get my fire engine? Not right now. Daddy's asleep. I won't make any noise. He only went to bed a few hours ago. Can't you wait till later? I won't make a sound. I promise I'll tell you. You're going to break his arm again. All right. But really don't make a sound. He's going to fall or something. Down, I'm going to make lunch soon. Okay? Okay, Ma. <laughs> but Jack always seemed like he was distant from the family, even when they got in the car and shit. It was so, like weird. It was like he was annoyed by them already. Don't even close it, young boy. Like the fit today. No! Oh! Come here for a minute first. Nah. You just sitting up in there? That boy could have been up for hours just sitting there. Creepy ass boy. No, nah, he's too ugly. You see him in the bed him. like that. How's it going, Dad? Okay. Man, Danny uncomfortable. Dad? Do you feel bad? I'm a little tired. Then why don't you go to sleep? Kills him. Can't. We had too much to do. Do you like this hotel? I want you to like it here. Got to be here forever, Doc. I wish we could stay here forever. Like the little girls. And they said it three times. You're scaring me, Nate. You would never hurt mommy and me, would you? I'll never do anything to hurt you. But he already did, though. You know that, don't you? No? Yes, Dad. Yo, boy's ugly. 
You almost just pull my arm off my body, talk my ear, you know what I'm saying? Hey, bro, for one, start stop looking at me. Stop smiling at me with them. I'm about to say, stop looking at me like that. My eyebrows, boy. I'm going to pull you. Ugly. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Who the fuck? That's the ball his dad was throwing. Yo, he really got the drip. That, you know, his mom just. Yeah, you stand. I'm ready to fight. Yeah, yeah. I'm ready to fight somebody. He got that little drip on, though. He got that fresh boy drip on. Apollo. Mom. You look old, <laughs> but he young. Boy, look old in the face. That door open. It's 237. It gotta be, yeah. And it was locked before. Little Jack in there. That's what I was saying. I think he might be. Don't go in. Just close that door, Mom, buddy. Are you in there? I don't care who in there. I'm not going in there. Is she all the way in the boiling room? That's what I'm saying, bro. They don't be keeping track of him. If something happened, it's fucking no, Cap, 100 could, floors in there. He could fall down the stairs and something. like, And it, they wouldn't know where he is. That boy's starting to tweak out a little bit. Why are you in here? No, it's time to get up at that hotel. Terrible nightmare I ever had. I dreamed that I killed you with Danny. After he just said that. I cut you up into little pieces. Oh, my God. I must be losing my mind. That boy Whoever did that, John, before is taking it over that boy. That's the only thing I can think of. What happened there? Man, a trip messed up. Look something like Show that. I mean. Danny, everything's okay. Go play in your room for a while. What's wrong, my man? Come on. Danny, that's what I say. Go play in your room. You wanna see my man fit? Danny. Yo. Yo. You see his eyes? Yeah. Nah, that joint traumatized my boy. And it's the same time he was having that dream. I think she might think he did it. You did this to him, didn't you? You son of a bitch! You did this to him! How could you? Yeah, especially with him just saying that he... Yeah, that he was fine. Had a dream that man. he killed him. Fix these lights a little bit, man. He's ugly, though. I would have thought he did it, too. Nah, he's really tweaking out, though. There's something wrong with him. He's about to go drink. There's no alcohol in there, though. Come on, he about to find something. That's when she said he hurt Danny's when he drank. Boy, he is looking for something. Looking for that shit. For a drink. My goddamn soul. Just a glass of beer. What? The demon about to show up and give him that beer. No cap. What's that? I'll give up my soul for a beer. Hi, Lloyd. A little slow tonight, isn't it? What'll it be? You slip me a bottle of bourbon, a little glass, and some ice. That must have been what happened tonight. That he came in and hurt Danny. Yeah. White Jack man. Daniels for that boy Jack. White man's burden. Here's to five miserable months on the wagon. How are things going, Mr. Torrance? Things could be a whole lot better. Being for that drink. Literally, like, boy, calm down just a tad bit, boy. Nothing serious. Just a little problem with the uh, old sperm bank upstairs. <laughs> Women. What a sperm bank. Can't live without him. When do you know damn sperm bank, Nick? Nobody loving that drink, though. I never laid a hand on him, goddammit. I didn't. I wouldn't touch one hair on his goddamn little head. I love the little son of a bitch. Stop trying to convince yourself. As long as I live, she'll never let me forget what happened. I did hurt him once, okay? It was an accident. Nah, he look like the Joker. It was three goddamn years ago. 
A little fucker had thrown all my papers all over the floor. All I tried to do was pull them up. A momentary loss of muscular coordination. Nah, boy, you meant to do... Well, you didn't mean to dislocate his sh shoulder, but you were... You lost at, control. Man. Yeah, you was looking to See, do something. You wanted to hurt him. She had a baseball bat. Oh, There's someone else in the hotel with us. There's a crazy woman in one of the rooms. She tried to strangle Danny. She had, he had marks on his neck, though. Which room was it? Let's go handle this. The governor of Colorado is expected tomorrow to declare a weather emergency. Hey, like, bro, boy's a freak. This nigga horny as shit. The boy about to die? I think so. Oh. So he had a vision that this was gonna happen to Danny? Somebody in that mother. I don't think so. Wanna see the body? I thought that was just the orange shit. Snicker blonde. I definitely had someone in there. He was coming. It must be the wife of the person that. But then again, but when I said that, you said I knew the answer to it. She tall as shit. Fuck, she seven foot? That's an alien. What was smiling for? Nah, she. Nah, she dead ass tall as hell, boy. Taller than me. Oh, horny as shit. Not gonna get none. That's a ghost. Nah. She about to strangle this man. Ah. Yo! Yeah, she about to put her hands right around his neck. He about to be done. They really did this on set, though. Literally. And the cameraman ain't behind shit like these. Ooh. Oh! Yo, nah, what the fuck? What disgusted with herself. Who what? Throw up. But they said you got your last laugh, seven laughs ago. You never got a chance I would have to laugh. Punched her. I should have flew right back. That's what she looked like younger though. That would make sense though if this happened. He said three years ago though. That's yeah. So that wasn't the room. But he was saying a lot, a lot more stuff happened in those that years. was not good. <laughs> Why wouldn't he just tell the truth? You went into the room, Danny said? To 237? Yes, I did. And you didn't see anything at all? Because he don't want to admit that he kissed the fucking in. A ghost or whatever it is. Like, bro, he had the choke marks around his neck, though. Are you sure it was the right room? The door was open. The lights were on. Somebody did that to him. Don't say it was you. I think. Did it to himself? He did it to him. I knew he was gonna say that. That's not possible. But his shirt was all like ripped up too. Like, yo, nice tweet, bro. Whatever the explanation is, I think we have to get Danny out of here. You don't say red room? Get him out of here? Yes. You mean just leave the hotel? Yeah, I can't leave. It's over. It's over for all that. You're not having that. I have let you fuck up my life so far, but I am not gonna let you fuck this up. So we'll leave and you stay then. Yeah. No matter where she going to hotel, that boy still gonna catch her. You gotta pick up all that. Well, no you don't. She gonna pick it all up. What was a menace? Like, <laughs> oh yeah, you see how he walking? Bro, he gotta have some of the shining too. Like, he gotta be able to see because these are past events that he's seeing. I think my man got the shining too. Well, look, sir, but there's a family up there all by themselves with a young kid. I'd sure appreciate it if you give him a call on your radio just to see if everything's okay. I'll be glad to do that, sir. He ain't calling. He told her to keep that shit on the whole time. The whole time, but... Even if they do, that shit's all the way back in Almond. What's his name? The yeah, Almonds? Almonds office. There's mad people in there. Instead of hold 300. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. The only way and you nigga, know that is if you held 300 people in there. And look, he, he can see Lloyd. Good evening, Mr. Torrance. It's good to see you. It's good to be back, Lloyd. 
Bull is literally losing his mind. Uh, Light, how is my credit? Oh shit, he actually got money. No charge to Mr. Torrance. Your money's no good here. Your soul. From the house. Literally. I got your soul, my boy. Drink up, Mr. Torrance. And he got that red shit on too. I'm the red guy man likes to know who's buying their drinks, Lloyd. It's not a matter that concerns you, Mr. Torrance. At least not at this point. I ain't drinking none if you can't tell me who got me my shit. Anything you say, Lloyd. Anything you say. Oh dear, oh dear. I'm so sorry, sir. I made an awful mess of your jacket, sir. That's all right. Uh, I've got plenty of jackets. Oh. That's crazy because people actually turned around, too. Yeah, it's like he's actually inside the memory. We'll get some water to it, sir. Looks as though you might have got a spot of it on yourself there, Jeevesy old boy. Oh, that doesn't matter, sir. And then pat him on the back and put some on his back. Yeah, we'll put shit on my back. Red rum or red room? It was R. But maybe he spelled it wrong. It's the kids. All I know is 21 Savage made a song named that. I don't like that. What do they call you around here, Jeezy? Grady, sir. Delbert Grady. That's the husband. Grady? Yes, sir. Delbert Grady. That's right, sir. But to kill him and take over his body. Haven't I seen you somewhere before? Why, no, sir. <laughs> I don't believe so. <clears throat> Miss Grady, weren't you once the caretaker here? Why, no, sir. I don't believe so. This is before he was. Chopped your wife and daughter up into little bits. Then you blew your brains out. I'm sorry to differ with you, sir. But you are the caretaker. What if Grady is seeing I him? Always been here. That your son is attempting to bring an outside party into this situation. I will. Who? A nigger. Sits back in the G, though. Not catch you, Grady. No, hey, bro. I'll stop to spit out your mouth. Son has a very great talent. It's his mother. She uh, but just her. just like how Danny got Tony. He got Grady in him. They need or something in him. Talking to. See? And it's telling him to do certain stuff. And when my wife tried to prevent me from doing my duty, I corrected her. And they look on the same page because he was saying that she was trying to ruin it for him. And that's kind of like what he could see as like Danny trying to do. Mm hmm. If the weather breaks, we might just be able to get down the mountain and. Call the voice rangers first. Oh, y'all are not getting it's out that of night, hotel. dude. You know how cold it is. No, you don't know how hard the snow is. Y'all are in the mountains. Y'all are not about to get out of this room. Danny? Red rug. Red rug. And rug. You having a bad dream? That's Tony. Not Danny, boy. Huh? That's Tony. Definitely is. He not doing a finger thing. Yeah. Okay. He's been saying that the whole movie. Danny can't wake up, Mrs. Torrance. No boy Tony very respectful though. Nah, real shit though. He called him Miss Torrance. He's gone away, Mrs. Torrance. I feel like Tony is like the protective side that he need when shit get bad. Yeah. And they, they said it happened when he pulled his arm. Split personality type shit. Yeah, that split. Man. He might turn the fucking shit off. Or if he break that shit, it's really over. This guy about to break the radio. Damn, she go down there and try it. Can't he even. got three pieces to it. It's over. But now since they not answering, they might come out to, to get them. Hello, this is Dick Halloran again. I called a while ago about the folks at the Overlook Hotel. I mean, oh, yeah. Dick is a good person. Like, my man can't even go to sleep. He better go up there. But we don't know how far away he is from that happen. place. I mean, Danny tried to reach me. That boy flew back out there. Like, oh, yeah, because he went home. Yeah, that's when they all went home. So I was saying, you don't know how far away he is from the hotel. It's probably gonna take that man like two to three hours to actually get to this place. 
Especially with do all that snow. We got a very serious problem with the people who are taking care of the place. They turned out to be completely unreliable assholes. Okay, Dick, I'll take care of it. Five hours just to get to there. He about to crash or something. Guy wishing bad on my guy no, did man. Yeah. What is he gonna do when he get there, bro? I mean, oh this shit, that boy fucking Jack gonna choke him. I am mm, fucking oh, tractor oh, shit, man, I don't oh, outline the Denver Metro region. Oh boy, Tony's still mad. I real shit that that's not my young boy. Danny's not here, Mrs. Not. We're respectful. Very demure. <laughs> Like, bro, shut up. <laughs> Stop talking to him like he fucking Danny. <laughs> he told you already. It's like, yeah, what's wrong with it, bro? My man ain't changed his face from last night. Same facial expression. I'll be back in just about five minutes. I'm gonna lock the door behind me. Now, he did a great job acting. Young boy, scary though. Like, I think he might do something. You watching a meet meet John? He going out there with the bat just in case that boy Jack act crazy. The only same person in the genre is Wendy. Oh yeah, damn man. He probably back in that room again trying to see Shorty. Jack. Yeah. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo, Zito, where is fuck? Oh, this guy. Mazito dead ass a weirdo. <laughs> like, what is wrong with this guy? How long have they been there so far? I know they said they gave us that time skip for a month. Like, what? It's a month and a few days. The fuck he right? That's all he been writing. He about to smack in the back of her shit. Turn around, Wendy. She definitely dropped her back. No way, that's all he's been writing. Yo! Bro, he's been doing that. That's all he's been writing, and just all he's been writing. All work, no play makes Jack a dog boy. She better not drop them papers on the floor. A dog boy? Now he losing his <clears throat> mind. After the first five of them drawings, I wouldn't need to read anymore. What? After the first five of them drawings, I wouldn't have to read anymore. He might not fuck his papers up. How do you like it? <laughs> How do you like it? I don't like it. He's so scared. No, stay on that side of the table, though, you heard? I can't. You're not even holding that shit to really swing that door. Maybe it was about Danny. I think we should discuss Danny. Look at her like this. My boy Tony, whatever he is, be helping that boy. I don't think that's true. And I'd like to know what they are. <laughs> I was about to do like, the same thing. Bro. <laughs> Bye, G. Maybe he should be taken to a doctor as soon as possible. As soon as possible. Man, you can't just know. Yo, why you do that to her just now? His health might be at stake. The boy Danny is not there no more. Concerned about him. Tony. <laughs> She's ugly. That I have agreed to look after the Overlook Hotel until May the 1st. Does it matter to you at all? He's fried. It's October 30th. Yeah. No, it's not. Because it's from October to May 1st again. Because that's when it opens back up. Has it ever occurred to you? Has it? Stay away from me. She don't want to hit him. She let that man. Now nah, she ugly. <laughs> <laughs> He's ugly. Don't hurt me. He can't even turn around and run because he's going to grab your foot. You're done. Put the bat down, Wendy. You better start tweaking out. Give me the bat. Push him down the oh, stairs. Oh, that's what you see doing. Give me the bat. Nah, he's more? ugly. Give me the bat. Oh, God damn. Oh. <laughs> it's time to run. Nah, when you wake up, it's over. You better go to that room and lock the door. No way she dragging this big ass boy. She would've put him in that freezer. Really little ass body dragging this man. She really about to put him in there. He's crazy. I think that's the drone with the eats. Pull a pin up. You fried? 
It's time to run. It's like, come on, Wendy. You're not that far, bro. Hit that nigga again. Nah, he's out of it. Like, what, what are you doing? Like, he got a concussion. Lock that drone. He did fall down the steps. Hey. Wait a minute. Take that knife right there. Far right one. Wendy is so dramatic and ugly. Wendy, listen. Let me out of here and I'll forget the whole goddamn thing. It'll be just like nothing ever happened. You're right. Don't leave me in here. Man, they're all acting. She definitely about to open the door, too. You open the door. She's fried. You do not drag him all the way there to just open the door. You got that po- I'm gonna go now. Oh. I'm gonna try to get Sammy down to Sidewinder. Shouldn't have said that. And the snow cat today. I'll bring back a doctor. Nah, he's about to tweet. Open the effing door. Oh, that's the way to open it from the inside. He should get locked in. You've got a big surprise coming to you. <laughs> Go check out the snow cat in the radio and you'll see what I mean. Yo. Go check it out. <laughs> Go check it out. He got the pieces. He probably, check it out. he probably broke the snow cat or just hit all the pieces. If that boy get out. I really cook. Oh, I told you. That shit gone, boy. That's really snowing, snowing out there. Yeah. Oh, he broke it. But my man is coming now. He just gotta get there in time. He gonna kill that old man when he get there. He really broke that job. Look. 4 p.m. How many hours is that? I hate how dramatic Wendy is. Nah, you'll really be panicking. So my man about to make it. He should be almost there. He he got five hours. It's 12. My man is almost there. Get that man in there. No cap, do not let him out. He won't been in there eating peanut butter and motherfucking uh, crackers. Wendy, mm -hmm. it's great day, Mr. Torrance. Yo. You got no drinks in there. Bull mouth dry as shit. Why's that axe be in this room somewhere? Grady, uh, oh, Grady. I see you can hardly have taken care of the business. I and others have come to believe that your heart is not in this. I and others told you. So with Grady's family, that probably wasn't the only family, like, that I happened to. Your wife appears to be stronger than we imagined, Mr. Torrance. I fear you will have to deal with this matter in the harshest possible way, Mr. Torrance. I give you my word. Who's a tweaker? What? How though? Please tell me the ghosts can interact with live shit, bro. Like, come on, man. Bro, bro that's kind of what that's the paranormal. Fine, that's kind of what the paranormal is, though. Like, oh yeah, you yeah, not you ain't lying. They be throwing. It's shit not like, like room, it's Casper. It it's not like it's Casper, and they got and they float through shit. Like, still the one man unlocked the fucking fridge, though. Like, come on, but he kissed Shorty and it choked my man. So like, bro, them drunks is definitely around grabbing and doing shit. Oh, oh man, cook. he don't even know where he going, bro. They'll be able to get away, though. Yeah, actually, snowmobile, the snowcat. Yeah, but, like, he barely know where he going. Man, that shit gonna need gas, too. 25 miles, up and back, 50 miles, boy. A little Shut up, bro. Red rum, red rum. Young boy, mad stiff up top. Look, yo, young boy, stop coming to me doing that weird shit. Just tell me what the fuck going on, man. Yo! Oh, I'm yourself now, Tony. Probably using it to protect him. Or if that door is locked, he might use that to get into the room. I feel bad for Wendy. She a victim of both they shit. No, that's all we're gonna say for the rest of the movie. No, like, bro, this guy gone. That's his only line for the rest of the movie. Oh, and that's what he was seeing. Boy, D backwards. And that R is too. Red rum, red Murder! Oh, shit. Red rum. 
Oh. I got a honey oh. IQ, me. Hey, red rum don't make no sense. Oh, so when she looked up, this boy got the oh, axe. Yo, she kind of scary. Ah, 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 Tony ah, did for it. He wrote it so when she looked up, murder. But when he walk in the room, he not gonna know what that shit mean. But they do. I'm jumping out the window, second floor. Hmm. It's mad snow outside. Hold on, bro. You not fin to that? Oh, yeah, you, you can put my man's through there at least. It's cold as shit outside though. Oh, they that's rolling down that motherfucker. G. You gotta hurry up though. This is the Ready? famous. I'm home. Yeah. Mm. yeah uh -huh. There's there's been so many movies that like replicate. I think Chuck and Chucky they did that. He had broken the the window or not? Nah, it was a door and he did the same. He ain't thing. got no jacket. Damn, ass got a whole bunch of snow. He might run into what you call it though. But he still gotta get through the other door. He still gotta get through the other She's door. She's bugging. I'm pulling that first mirror off. Wait, push it up some more, bro. Bro, she can't. Those mirrors don't go the whole way up. Mm. I'm pulling that mirror this way. Right that window. A low ass mirror. I'm pulling that shit off the hinges. What a bro. She mad little. She not fitting through that. Like, bro. Better hurry up. I'm going feet. Yo, Danny, but I climb that shit and pull dudes. You can't get out of that little ass window. Little pigs. What a big ass window. Her face is blowing me now. Not by the hair on your chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff. He enjoyed this role a little too much. As soon as he, st as soon as he breaks this down, I'm stabbing him. He gonna look right in, poking. <laughs> ah, right, shit. She's so dramatic. You gotta think though, this is real life shit. A girl. They got an axe coming through them. <laughs> no cat. I ain't talking it's, about breaking bad. Let's see, do you gonna be screaming like that? Are you so scared? You can't even. We say, here's Johnny. Here's Johnny. He's ugly. Oh! Now nah, he's hurting off of that. He wanna see my mans. If he ain't come, where the fuck was Danny about to run to? He was just gonna hide, bro, out in the snow. What a freak with that. She, uh, she cut that boy hand. She been tweaking and stressing this whole movie. Remember what Grady said? My man's on the way. So you telling me he gonna stop when he could just literally push that little ass middle piece over and <laughs> hang? <laughs> nah, I want him though. Nobody told you to come. Literally. Somebody <laughs> did tell him to come though. Manny. Nah, I want Wendy. She, she, she right here. Here's Johnny. Who the fuck is Johnny? Literally. Here's Grady. And I <laughs> That's what I thought he was going to say. <laughs> Maybe the little girls is going to help him. Because they, they ain't pop up in a minute. But like I was saying, he got Tony. That's within him. And the boy, and uh, Jack got Johnny. Grady, nigga. But he said Johnny just now, bro. She li He literally left her, though. Like, what? Make it make sense. He should have chopped her in half right there. If you don't fucking if you don't reach, fucking literally, nah. If you don't kick the rest of that wood, yeah, he's done. Nobody got the axe. An old head is not active. He not angling on that joint. But shoot, if they can still get that snow, uh, snow cat and get out of there, like fuck it. Maybe sad. My man ain't making out with them, but still. And that's the elevator doors right there. What they do this man dirty? You lucky I ain't walk through the front door. <laughs> you limping? My oh, nigga. Come on, bro. What you wanna do? I got an axe in his hand. We swing that joint. Dumb, stupid, hard power. Everybody power swing them joint. Power swing, dodge that joint. Pick the boy a slam on his fucking head. The boy got the snow fit on. He was ready for war. You know what make him a menace? If he went out there and destroyed the snow cat. <laughs> like, Y'all all gotta stay here, G. Uh, G. <laughs> 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 Literally. <laughs> now, now nobody leaving. Oh, oh! I knew it. Oh, it had reaction time. Holy shit! And she no help right now.
Like, bro! I'm like, I'm like you wanna just... Yo, what the fuck? He did say the others. Nah. I'd be scared right now, I ain't gonna lie. The fuck? Like, what the f... She Yo, blew me half this movie by Go get action. your son. Well, she don't know where he is, but Literally. still. I'm Danny. I'm in that zone, just chilling. It's too cold to be outside. Boy turned on all the lights. He was definitely behind that zone. Why he walk out? Run into the maze. The maze. Come on, young boy. Oh, that's the worst place. The little to girls go. might help him escape, and then which one calls gonna be stuck in there? She about to see that boy dick. Oh my gosh, he's scared though. What the fuck happened to him? Who the hell is that? And that's probably why all that blood flew through the shit is because mad people die in that hotel. Yeah. My boy talking about that turned people away. Nah, people probably looked up how many people die in that hotel. Yo, leave me alone. Man, it's outside, bro. What the f screen oh. for? Oh! What the f? She born a bad. She born a cut. I must have a hero. My hair just hit my shit. That shit scared me. So I tapped my shoulder. Danny getting a move on. Where the bro? You gotta take your shoes off. You don't see the nigga feet. Oh, he about to go back in his tracks. I see what he tried to do. WIQ by Young Boo. Now she's seeing all this shit. That elevator about to open with all the blood. Damn. Because mm -hmm. now he about to check them shit. Boy, deranged. They told him to go on set and bug out. He better grab him. Oh! What? Danny smart as shit. Hey, Follow the footsteps back. back. Yo, young boy smart as hell. That's what I was thinking right off the bat was just following back. And they walked through the maze before, so he know where to go. Tell you shit. Come on, Danny. They got faith in you, my young boy. That nigga lost. Yeah, he's done. <laughs> <laughs> and he freeze good. And yeah, he about to come right out and be right, right there. Right on the snow cat. Uh, 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 hell cat. Hell cat snow cat. She I'm done. Driving that bitch <laughs> like a hell cat. What the fuck is she talking about? Aww. They time for that. Get no fucking cat. Your ass about to freeze, Jack. Come on, get in the truck. Cause they at this hotel all by yourself. You're not red hell cat and get out of there. He dead though. From what though? Like, what is he? I don't know where he at. Like, what's wrong with him? Bro, it's cold as fuck outside, nigga. But still, like, he holding his chest though. Like, something wrong with him. He's holding his coat together. Yes, yeah, yeah, sir, Ski. They got out. I was sure he was about to get stuck on the hill for a second. The ghost might kill him because he didn't do it. Yeah. Cause he told him he was like. Then Danny wrote murder, which is a black bull. Bro, that's crazy. Twenty One Savage had that song. Y'all had people saying "Red Rum." Didn't and even know it meant murder. Like, bro, come on. Oh. He froze to death. Nah, that's actually insane. I told you, it's brick outside. See the bottom of his teeth. <laughs> nah, that boy. Nah, he forever there. What you talking about? Now, next yeah. caretaker, they on him. The party That's forever. Wow. Like, uh, I ain't think he was gonna freeze. Why? I guess his picture's gonna end up in, like, the photo or something. No way. How is that possible? That's all the people that die in that hotel? Literally, it's everybody. There he is right there in the front. Yup. And he got a suit on. Yo. 
Nah, that's scary. That's wow. Why should be an earlier date? 1921. It's 1973. I know. Nah. How the fuck? That John took his. That's school. why he said, "I love it here and shit." He said, "I want to be here forever and ever and ever." Nah, you stay me. there. What a bro. Stay away from me. All right, y'all. That was the end of the shining. I'm not gonna lie. The shining. No cat. <laughs> the shining. <laughs> That's the end of the shining. And for how old this movie is, this was a really good movie, bro. Like, shit ain't old. Come on, bro. It's 1980. Like, that my was one nah, year old. Nah, this shit, literally. But if you think about it, this drone was like ahead of his time. Ahead like, of his time. I like, see why, the, like the like the, the way that they transitioned the movie, like the flow of the movie, the style of it. I could see how. And like how good the plot was, I could see how this genre is still like a lot of people's favorite movies when they watch it or like, it wasn't too scary, but like they did have like the noise in the background and shit. Like it was just like a, a unsettling plot that they had with it. I think this was just like the, this probably was the movie to bridge into like modern horror movies. Like with plot and not just like paranormal stuff. Like it was it probably wasn't paranormal, but it wasn't like too heavily focused. I mean, it kind of was, was, but it wasn't like it was based on like a murder yeah. type thing. Like where I think probably all movies before this was kind of like based on like scary, um, like Annabelle. And yeah, like, like this ghost, was an exorcist, exorcist shit, type so. shit. So this one had more of a plot and um, a story to follow, and they did a really good job at telling it. They made sure you understood to a certain extent what the hotel was and Onto what Hill House, man. and what That's happened at the hotel. And as we went on, we learned more and more about the hotel and why Jack was acting the way he was. But then again, at the end, with them incorporating his photo within the within that frame in that picture, just made. It, it made it 30 times better because it was just like, all right, all those people we seen at the ball, all those people died in the hotel, bro. It wasn't just that. That was the, the 1921 July 4th ball. Those were the people that all came to that hotel and what happened? And died. What? To all those people? I like think, it, I think they all just died. had different stories of dying in the hotel. Like that one lady, I guess but she drowned. But it not make sense. Either the lady drowned in the tub. tub, but it's like, how the fuck did all that shit happen on that day, though? What you mean? On the day of the ball, they were still in those fits from the ball. But it's just like when you die in there, you get put into to those fits that the people wear at the ball because he wasn't at the ball and he was in the suit. So it's just when you die, you just end up in the attire of the ball, I guess. Unless something happened on that day and a, a bunch of people died, and then afterwards when you died, like your picture got framed in that. Question I got, but yeah. Even with it's, the one boy, like he got axed on his face. The one that uh, the girl ran into, the mom. Yeah, and that wasn't Grady. That was somebody else. So it's just like whatever but happened. Grady didn't die that way. He got he shot himself in the mouth. Uh huh. I know. But and then with him, he didn't look like there was nothing wrong with his face or anything like that. Yeah, it's, it, it was a couple like gaps where like you didn't know what was going on, and I guess that's part of the story to make it seem like how mysterious this hotel was. Which at, in the beginning they showed us that because they told Jack about this one story, no that it's a bunch of other stories that happen within the hotel and that's why people weren't taking this job but jack was just very desperate and i guess they needed the money and like he said he wanted those five months to just lock in and write his paper but it was just too much stuff going on within that hotel and it got it got a grip on them sad that our guy dick came back and you know he he ended well, his story ended the way it did. Man was trying to help them out and just wasn't on his P's and Q's. But like Swiss said, this is, I can see why this is like a classic horror film. They did a great job with just, I'm not gonna say the acting was great. You know, they did their best with the acting. You know, my girl Wendy was running around. Mad dramatic acting, acting a little bit too much during some of the scenes, but definitely did enjoy, you know, this movie for the majority of it, so. Like I said, that's a, just a classic movie. I don't even want to give this a rating because I know, I guess, what it did for the the horror community, but well, what it stands for within the horror community and probably how it impacted horror movies down the line. So it's a classic movie and I'm happy we got to finally watch it with you guys.
Sean was good. Um, I was locked in the whole time. There's a lot of stuff that you could have missed subliminally, subliminally throughout the movie as well. Like even with the murder shit, him saying it over and over and over. Um, and then, like I said during the reaction, the only person that ended up dying, well, they both died, but the only person he, um, Jack was able to kill was the guy, uh, Dick. So it was a lot that they threw at you throughout the movie. I still like, they showed what happened to the daughters, but then like, that was it after a while. Like you didn't see him anymore. And I thought they were like, when Jack or when Danny was running through the house or the hotel, I thought they would come through and like help him in a way, but like we just never saw them, saw them again. And it also goes to show too, like um, I said in the beginning of the outro that there's a lot of stuff that they left up for interpretation and kind of left like in the air. Uh, I don't like for them to kind of go into why those people were still there. Um, and like, what, like I said, what happened during that day, if everybody did die during that day, or if like they just ended up dying at some point throughout the hotel, because they said it, I guess everything started in 1921 during the ball. I guess that's when the first person died or somebody died during that day. And then it just kind of trickled from there. But like they were saying, or like Jack was saying, he didn't want to leave. So maybe those people just stayed there or continued to come back as guests and they ended up dying there. Or I don't really know. You know what I mean? This is just like me trying to think of stuff like on the fly. I'm based upon what the movie gave. Because like no matter what happened, Jack didn't want to leave. He said he wanted to be there forever and ever. So I'm guessing that's like the same exact thing that happened to the father that killed or Grady that killed the, the two daughters. And it it was, was kind of the same thing. And then like, it was weird too, because he told him that he was always a caretaker there. So I don't understand if that's like the same spirit that was the first caretaker there that died and that like continued to like possess them or like how that, like where that correlation came into. But it makes sense though, if his photo was in the 1921 shit, he could have always, you know what I'm saying? Always been the caretaker there in that instance too. But seeing him die at the end was crazy. I didn't think he was going to, like I said though, he was freezing and shit. So I'm just happy the mom and um, my man, Danny aka Tony got away from the situation. But if you enjoyed the reaction, make sure you like the video, comment down below, let us know your thoughts on it. Hit the subscribe button, the bell icon, so you can notify me about these videos. We appreciate y'all on YouTube, Patreon. Thank y'all so much as well. Shout out to Vi again for recommending this movie. Uh, I would have literally never watched this if it wasn't for y'all. Same thing with a lot of movies too, like even Alien and Passengers and all that stuff too. So love y'all, man. Appreciate y'all. This is why we love doing this. Um, get to watch y'all favorite movies or some of y'all, you know what I mean, um, top movies with y'all and then you'll get to see our reaction. But love y'all. Appreciate y'all until the next video. The kids reacted.